If I had to ask you this question, what is the worst set in Magic the Gathering history? I think a lot of people would say it is Magic 30th. Magic 30th, in case you don't remember, was a set where it came out. It was a thousand dollars. I made fun of it. It was the whole dare to dream. What are you daring to dream? You're, you're daring to dream two, two Black Lotus proxies. So the entire set was non-legal. And it basically was a reprint of Alpha Beta, right? Technically Beta because of the edges, but you, you know what I'm trying to say. And this was a disaster. Uh, people were very upset. Um, the two people promoting it actually are dating each other now. I don't know if they were dating at the time. Brian Kibler and uh, Olivia. So Olivia is now on the rules committee. I think there's three people in the rules committee or two of them. Or, yeah, maybe three of them. Uh, it is very, very difficult to imagine that they would have to sign this contract. Only one of them... So let me read you the contract. Tweet, Gavin, looking for input. The vendor contract, so again, not an employee, W-2, right? Not, not W-2, 1099 vendor. Contract for the commander panel includes a surviving non-disparage clause, which means it, it limits what I can say about them forever, even if the contract ends. I don't mind, in, mind, in, mind the NDC, but I'm uncomfortable with it in perpetuity. Thoughts? Since I think Wizard of the Coast is doing a bad job, a managing commander could reasonably be considered disparaging the company. This seems kind of important, and they said that all members of the new RC Rules Committee panel will receive the same contract, no exceptions. For the sake of clarity, I'm optimistic they will do a good job of it, but I want to preserve the right to be, to be public with, what, with that opinion if it goes wrong. So again, he's saying, hey, they're having us sign these uh, infinite uh, forever non-disparage clauses. Even if we no longer get paid by them, we still would be sued. They would come and sue us if we said something bad about Commander. And this is very disturbing, uh, but only one person spoke up about it. In fact, the other person, Olivia, did not speak up about it and never mentioned it. She just signed a contract and collect that check, right? Uh, reminds me of Brian Kibler. I'm not a fan of Brian Kibler. Uh, I've mentioned this a few times. My one interaction with him on Twitter was extremely negative. Uh, the guy thinks he's hot shit. He's, well, how old is Brian Kibler now? Um, he used to post about his wife all the time, but now they're divorced. I, I remember seeing play mats of him getting married. He's supposed to be the most handsome man. Mat. He's 44 years old. Um... Spouse Nash, Natalie Warren. I don't think he's married to Natalie anymore. Um, yeah, he, he's he's a vendor. He's a contractor. He's trying to like, like the last thing he wants to do is get a job, right? Like a nine to five W two employee job. So he's just taking these contracts. I mean, how many people would want? He knows. I mean, he's played Magic long enough that he understood what Magic Thirtieth was, and yet he would still be the face of that. Brian Kibler, owner of BMK Gaming. So he owns a gaming company. He only has 810 followers on LinkedIn. So I have way more than him on LinkedIn. Uh, when's the last time he posted on LinkedIn? Probably never. Oh, it looks like he worked at Riot Gaming. Philosophy and religion major. TCG gamer. So like you look at the resume, it looks like he worked on multiple games at the, and then he owns this company that you can pay him to promote you uh youtuber at oh commander at home okay so that's his other channel i did not notice okay we're gonna click command z so he's got the brian kibler channel which i believe is mostly hearthstone now he's doing commander okay commander at home when i click on the link it doesn't work youtube.com slash commander at home it doesn't go anywhere yo brian your uh link is broken on uh linkedin LinkedIn of all places. Now, if I click on YouTube, Brian Kibler, maybe he doesn't do Commander at Home anymore. Yeah, it goes to his main YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, like his Hearthstone a year ago. Hearthstone was doing really well a year ago. It's not doing well now. Most recent video, 9.3K views 11 hours ago, 20K views, 21K views a day ago, 14K views two days ago, 15K views three days ago, 16K 
views four days ago. Da 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 da. Is he bigger on Twitch? Like I remember, like his mo. Let's look at Poplar. Yeah, Hearthstone Kibler versus Disguised Toast. Best of three. 1.7 million views, 1.6 million views, 1.3 million views. This was all eight years ago. Yeah, eight years ago, he was crushing it on Hearthstone. And now he's crawling back to magic because Hearthstone doesn't bring those numbers no more. Is, Hearth is Hearthstone dead? What happened in this game? Hearthstone. I have I, I never played a game. I had an uh, employee who played a game. No, it looks like, looks like it's still doing well. I mean, some people got good views. Rarin got 30 take, 2k views. Zeddy, I mean, yeah, Hearthstone, so that's still happening. Is dead? Hearthstone's dead? Is Hearthstone dying? I showed an ex Hearthstone Pro, current Hearthstone. The ex Hearthstone Pro was uh, Brian Kibler. Oh, I mean, a lot of people are saying that. Um, Trump, the, the Hearthstone player, what, what is he, is he still playing Hearthstone? I know he was a pretty big name. Uh, Hearthstone turns one year, Trump. Six mana, 40. Last video he made was a month ago with only 12k views. Terraformer, 16k four months ago, five point. So he stopped playing Hearthstone. So the number one... Hearthstone player stopped playing Hearthstone, and as soon as he stopped playing Hearthstone, there was no views. Right? Uh, but even before then, 11 months ago, uh, oh, that's Backpack Hero. Reno. So this, her, this is Hearthstone. 11 months ago, he made a Hearthstone video called Showdown in Badlands Final Word and Reno Review, and it was 30k views only. 37k views. This is a guy who often would get 3.5 million K views, 3 million views, 2.3 K, uh, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1 1.8, 1 1.7, 1 1.6, 1.5. And now he can't get even like 100 K. You know, it's, it's hard to get views, man. I mean, this channel is basically shit, but also I don't put time into it. But nonetheless, I mean, uh, my other channel is doing really, really well. Uh, so you got to ride the momentum of that channel to the end. And then I'll be back once that channel doesn't perform as well. I'll, I'll be back uh, making videos on this channel, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, the baby channel is doing really well. So you got to ride a baby channel. You got to ride all this shit. I mean, it's the same with uh, Brian Kibler. Like his channels are not, his channel in Hearthstone is not doing well. Trump even quit. I think, and he's the only Hearthstone I know besides Brian Kibler. I mean, these people sell out like, like crazy. Um, I think after having a child, you realize like there are a lot of mother effing sellouts out there because you think you get baby products and you're like, Ugh. there's so much margin. Anyway, this is neither here nor there. Bye guys.